Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to paint a snail. First, I want to thank uh, Artist Tape from PP Crafter. And I also want to thank Meaden sending me this watercolor paper. From here on, I will publish three new learning videos every week on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And on Sunday, the reference image for the video that most viewed and commented, I will upload it on YouTube for my subscribers to download. How to subscribe? Click the subscribe button below this video. I will give you five seconds before we start the painting. You know, I use exclusively the brushes from Enjoying Art. Order yours today at enjoyingart.com brushes. Currently, our community on Patreon voting on what we are doing for our painting marathons in the month of March. We will have some six hour continuous painting together on Zoom interactively for at least a couple of days on the subjects and media that members agree on. Come to our Patreon community to cast your votes. Coming out over here. So obviously this is too close to the edge. I'm going to move a little bit to the middle over here. So I'm going to make a little bit, just a little bit smaller. Just think about it before you do it, okay? Always think. Okay, now I'm going to put the right side and the left side of the shell. Okay, and then think about the top and the bottom. So think about this with the shell over here, I'm making sure I have enough room for the snail. I'm going to put the snail at the bottom over here. You can draw a very thin line like this. That's good. Coming over here. And see, because it's so light, if you don't like it, you can always can start over. You can change it. This is good. So I'm going to put the top of the shell right here, right? Put it like that. And I know at the beginning I always feel scary that directly painting drawing with the uh, brush it actually forces you to think more before you making a move okay coming over here I'm going to take a look at that's the shape of the shell like that and before you do more just think about it is that the right size I think the shell need to be bigger right so I'm going to move the shell a little bit bigger right in here like that and that will be more proportion to the snail I'm gonna put it right over here this is good and you're gonna see this is doesn't really matter and you can very easily just light up okay like this coming right over here and then see a little bit of the snail coming up over there and I'm gonna have a little two antenna right here and one over here like that you can change it in different angle and if you want like that so you're seeing enough room over here so this is pretty good i'm going to soften that a little bit over here now i'm going to just use the water to soften it a little bit i'm going to use the flat brush can okay, lift up much easier just think about water it is the eraser in watercolor painting and if you don't want it you just light it wash it leave it take it out okay that's good 45 degree to the paper and just keep lifting it okay this is good light enough okay don't scratch that wood paper tower okay this is good that I'm gonna use the paper tower it just step on it and lift it up. That's it. Okay, then just make it a little bit softer. That's it. And now I'm going to take a look. And is that the size, is the location that you want? I'm going to take a look. Am I going to have, I think this is good. I thought I'm going to change the size of the shell. Okay, let's start. That give a little bit more confirmation and from here going up and then coming down over here like that right it's good 
and then take a look at this the bottom over here like that here you go look at it again have a little turn and coming a little bit turn like that and have a little turn you see that that has become a little light shape like this is how I draw okay this is going to be a lot darker so I don't need to worry about it you can actually shade this a little bit darker on this side yeah, and then we're going to continue to create the light and shadow uh, to see the shape next I'm going to uh, divide this okay you see that from here to here this is almost a halfway right that little shell over here take a look this is very important I'm going to put that right here coming down this is good like this this coming down over here like this coming down over here that's almost like a, a, a oval shape can you see that that's a little oval shape like that and coming over here the oval shape coming to the bottom over here that's the continuous of the oval shape can you see that all the way coming here like that let's take a look it's difficult to see in the shadow that's okay just coming like that this is put pretty good that's a one oval shape on the outside over here and have fun and there's a little bit continuous a little bit more shell coming the bottom over here and those lots of people know a lot about the snail so if I'm doing something wrong and please let me know in the comment okay coming over here and have a little bit coming over here a little bit like that this is good see that that's a little bit over here there's gonna be a lot darker uh, when we finish okay that's like that this is good coming in over here and let's also put this two smaller uh, take a look at how big is it at uh, this from here to here almost halfway just a little bit more than halfway right here like that you see that coming down over here that's good like this and from here that's good like that that's another shape inside over here and that's another shape a little bit smaller like also most also because like almost like a half size and coming on to here and they have a little bit coming in right in the middle okay like that okay so we have the shape of the shell now this already dried up over here so I'm going to refine it a little bit more like that and refine a little bit come all the way over here so before we go into the paint the details uh, we make sure we get the form correctly so I'm gonna have a little bit okay seeing that I'm gonna have just a little bit tiny tiny blue color okay now I'm gonna do a little bit of details of the snail like that and coming over here like this this is good we're gonna also have to catch the shadow and it's very thin very very soft I can feel it okay right here I'm gonna put there that there's a little bit like this okay like this and here you go like that you can draw a little bit we can make it feel more like a translucent okay very good and what's the antenna is the ear or okay coming over here mm -hmm. I'm gonna have this just a little bit tiny a little bit lower like that coming down all the way come here right you can see that a little bit curve and coming like this very nice okay here you go okay coming right here this is good okay that's good like that and we're gonna do a detail a little bit later but you see all this uh, uh, shadow shape and also have shadow shape down over here too so they're coming directly over here coming in okay this is pretty good we already have the pretty good drawing the next thing we're gonna do we're gonna start painting their color I think I look over here on the top over here this is the lightest right and this eye over here a little bit darker so I want you to squint the eye I'm gonna take a little bit yellow get a little bit red yellow a little bit more yellow 
and take a little bit tiny wet. This is good. We're gonna do that over here, a little bit darker. Okay, like that. And a little bit darker, right here, like that. Okay, okay, put down the brush. Like that. This is good. And on the other side, also see a little bit, a little bit lighter. Like that. That's good. Start shading it. Okay, very important. Now keep a little highlight over here in the middle. Okay. And now coming over here, I'm gonna have a little bit darker. And see that this is gonna be very quick. Very quick is you're gonna get see something a little bit warmer. Like that. You have a little bit more red. Okay, a little more red. Yeah, and here you go. See that? That's pretty good. A little bit more red. Now you're gonna see the form, the three-dimensional form. Okay, right here. Like that. I'm gonna have this a lot darker. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna leave a little gap. Okay, I leave the gap over there. I'm gonna fill in this different color in the gap. Okay, see that? This is called wet into wet. So now I'm gonna continue. And this color feel a little bit more purplish. So I'm going to have the red coming over here with this red shade blue color. You see that? This color is a very beautiful purplish feeling. Going to have that coming all the way here. That's good. Coming on to this side. And the color is very colorful. Like I'm going to draw a little line like that coming over and wet into wet, very soft. That. Here you go. A little bit soft like that. Ooh, look at that. Very interesting. I'm gonna have a little bit, a little bit uh, uh, red in the middle. But here now, I'm gonna just use the clean brush. So it's just no paint. It's just wipe it. So make this even softer over there. So I'm gonna add a little red, as I said, a little bit more red right here. I'm gonna put the red a little bit more. You see that color over there. This is go wet into wet, get the color into the space over there. Okay, this is good. This is very important to get the form before we can continue. So after that drive a little bit more, we're gonna come back to view a little bit more darker detail. So you can see this is very easy. You can do this one, you can do the next one, right? And I'm gonna soften that a little bit more. Just let go a little bit color. And actually, I'm going to have some even darker color. So get a little bit more uh, the blue, have a little bit more red mix into it, and there's a little bit more drive. Okay, here we go. I'm going to have it like that. And here we go. Now you see that? This very nice. I'm going to have a little bit line going all the way over here, a little bit line coming over here. Okay, this is what we can do as yeah, so a wet into wet. So we're going to stop, I'm going to come back to do that a little bit more later. But at this point on the other side, I'm going to have a little bit more brown orange color. So I'm going to take a little bit orange color over here. You can see that this is already dry. I'm going to see that like that. I have a little bit shape. See that little bit shape like that. And look at the movement, look at the direction of the movement of those lines. Like that, curving over. Observation, very important. Look at that, this is nice. I'm gonna have a little bit of color over here too. Okay, this is good. Yeah, this is a good foundation. I'm going to use the, just clean the brush with the water. Now I'm gonna light up a little bit over here. This is the highlight. Okay, I'm gonna make that a little bit lighter. Also, I'm gonna light up a little bit more over here. Just by lifting up the color. That's simple. Okay, it look difficult. That's not that difficult. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit more yellow. Mix it into here. I'm gonna make this just a little bit darker. Like that. Shade it. That's a little bit more shadow compared to the highlight. Okay, that's good. Like that. All right, I'm gonna go the next thing. Screen your eye. If you see that right in the middle over here, and I'm gonna have a little bit orange color over here too. Now let's take a look. And we're gonna start it right here. Right in the middle over here. Okay, I'm gonna have this coming in a little bit more, like that, the orange. That over here, and that's pretty light. So I'm not gonna touch on that. 
Okay, like this. I'm gonna have a little bit more brown color. So I'm gonna get just a little bit more blue color like that. And there's a little bit more. And I actually have a little line like this. I'm gonna leave the line. Okay, have a little line, leave the line over here. And that color look a little bit dirty, so I'm gonna fix that. Also, I'm gonna leave a little bit of gap. You see the light, the gap over there. Right now, we're also gonna moving and having a little uh, like a shading and wet the whole space down over here. So now I'm going to soften this. Is now this is some soft transition, right? That's a little bit lighter, like this. Here we go. That's a little bit darker. And a little bit more like a light color. I'm gonna have this a little bit softer like that. So you see this? Have very light shape. Now, the next thing, I'm gonna have a little bit brighter. So I'm gonna get the red, get some yellow, and I'm also gonna have a little bit of this purple color. So here you go. I can see this color. A little bit brighter. Like that. Okay, here you go. Like that. That's good. And I have a few lines like that. Tap on it. And that's good. Now, over here, it's important to see this little light. This is darker. Like that. I'm going to have the gap over here. Like this. I'm going to have this a little bit darker. Can we have a little line like this coming over? Yeah, here you go. Like that. Here we go. Now I'm going to have this a lot darker. Can you see it? Don't look at the detail. Okay, you maybe get confused with the detail. And we get that a lot darker. And in fact, later, it's going to be a lot more darker. I'm going to have this. See? This a lot darker. I see that? And when you have the color, the edge over here also darker. You see it? There's darker. And we're going to come back to give a, a few more lines after you dry. It will look very much look like uh, the texture. Okay, on this side, I'm going to have a little bit more water. With the yellow, okay, over here. You see that there's that pretty good, like little by little. You divide the whole process into steps. So in that case, you won't feel overwhelming, right? Like uh, whenever you have uh, facing something look like undoable, you're gonna stop. You're not gonna even start it. So ease your mind seeing through the process and it's not that complicated. And then you more likely is going to do it. I'm gonna have this and then have this red shade blue color, make it even darker. Now I'm gonna, here we go, I'm gonna put that over here. And always moving with the contour, so easier. Like that. That's good. I'm gonna make it even darker. Right now it's not even dark enough. So, just put the foundation color. Now underneath over here, I'm gonna have it even darker. I'm gonna think about this, a little bit more present blue. Okay, a little bit more press and blue, get the Windsor red. You can see the, the material they use in the descriptions. And it will bring you to the page you can look at. Okay, here we go. Here we go, coming over here, a lot darker. Can you see that? Right here, the bottom over here, gonna have a little bit transition, a little bit curve, a little warm color. And yeah, that's good, like that. Now from here, we're not looking at the inside, we're looking at the whole shadow area first. You see that? The whole shadow color over here. And then coming here, and we're going to take care of some fundamental color down over here. I'm going to take this color and screen your eye and talk about in our basic painting exercise at the leaf, we are talking about and how to do the cat shadow and the shadow. Put a little bit purplish color. Uh, get the red and the red shade blue color. In this case is French ultramarine uh, blue color. So I'm gonna have this. You see that this a little bit. 
see this a little bit shadow can you see it this is turned a little bit lighter like that so we're gonna have a little bit like a, a quite a bit of texture we're gonna do a little bit more later but right now it's just looking for the big shape okay I'm gonna quickly using the wet into wet to make this softly all come together and also on this side get a little bit red on this side you see a little bit over here a little purplish color that's good and quickly we're going to come to a little bit greenish color can you see that a little bit more greenish get the yellow and this blue color and get a little bit more yellow color and we're going to have some bright yellow color like that seeing that this is very nice green okay here we go I'm gonna have this color merge into it and I'm gonna soften this just use the water okay here we go keep a little bit we're gonna come back with the texture a little bit later but again as I mentioned about the, the shape is very important the form is very important so you have to take care of the form before you do other things so I'm gonna have this a little bit later coming over here that's pretty good and I'm gonna come in the bottom over here also see a little bit have a little bit green shade uh, blue color and here you go make it a little bit darker like that now here we go coming over here seeing that that's a little bit more smoother but we're going to ping around this eye it's a little bit too soft maybe and we can lift it up if it doesn't stay okay here like this pretty good okay I'm going to light it up a little bit more because it's the water is going to come all the way in okay I'm going to light it up I'm going to come back to refine it a little bit later so I'm going to have that a little bit blue and you see that a little bit more blue you can see that that's the texture I'm going to put a few over here and but we're going to come back to do more uh, later so at this point this is good I'm going to come here to light it up a little bit I think there's too much purplish color so you can have a little bit more green color and okay just mix the yellow and the blue color have a little bit more of this green color I'm gonna make this a little feel a little bit more neutral that's too much purple okay like that okay that's good pretty good not just a little good okay here you go uh, after that drive I come back to do it again and again over here it has a lot of texture so it's gonna cover a lot of things so over here I'm gonna make that a little bit more red into here and here you go put that down over here like this here you go the color gradually coming down make this feel a little bit softer okay nice so when you screen your eye you don't really see uh, whatever going on in the middle over here so so in the outside the catch the shadow and we're going to take a look at that a little bit later right now and we're going to go back to the shell okay like that keep squinting your eyes so you're not getting feeling of the panic okay no need to panic okay now take a look in the middle over here we're gonna get a little bit more orange yellow orange and take a look at here and also here in the middle over here always look a little bit darker right a little bit darker and then coming over here and a little bit and then leave a little bit light and then right over there that's is very light so what we're gonna do we're just gonna use the water to soften that a little bit tiny more okay that's good now I'm gonna coming on to actually in the middle over here have some yellow can you see the yellow right in here the middle over here quite a bit of yellow okay 
uh, be able to see one thing relate to all other things so you can paint multiple things at one that would be great I'm gonna have that right here and coming to the outside of course if you just want to be good at it you have to get put into practice okay keep practicing and you're gonna get better you're gonna get better at seeing things faster okay come to the other side using the same color coming around over here now you see the 3d we talk about the 3d live up over here the 3d on this side is quite brown so I'm gonna have the yellow and the red and the a uh, little blue color that's just brown right now down over here here you go not brown that's lighter that actually here darker I'm gonna have a little bit more red versus the brown that's just good now take a look we can have this is already dry not what we is going to come into the other side so this is good see that that's good that's good leave a little gap okay that's good like that and a little bit orange color over there you can see the whole shape in here it is three-dimensional this is darker this is lighter yeah I'm gonna have a little bit of orange color just the red and the yellow Okay, let's take a look and this is good take a look at here and coming here and earlier and uh, someone here asked me is that do you need more than two brushes to do the painting and if helpful yeah use more brushes but in fact as you see me when you're taking care of the bigger area you only use the large brush if you're taking care of the smaller area you use the small brush and I don't see that any purpose to use another brush right it's totally up to you so you if you need more brushes use more brushes but I like to be simple I like to be if you use two can taking care of everything why not two okay I used to use lots of brushes I can tell you that if you come to my studio I can show you all the brushes that I used to use uh, 40 50 of them okay but now I never need to touch any of them this is pretty good right now we have this the shell very much I have like the feeling of 3d but it's not enough yet we want to be stronger we want to make it even darker on this side so it requires you to squint okay now I'm gonna have just the blue color I'm gonna have get the red color into here a little bit more red okay there here we go I open up my brush and I'm gonna see I'm gonna make this side a little bit darker okay that even more darker like this that's good a little bit darker okay now I'm gonna have a little bit more red mix into it okay don't need the color too thick okay here you go and get a little bit more texture coming into here I'm gonna move the color in and see that that make this even stronger okay that's good we need texture okay that's better I'm gonna have that little bit more tiny tiny blue like that I'm gonna have the blue you see the color over here in the middle like this getting pretty good and this get a little bit more tiny tiny more detail in here you can see a little bit darker on the edge over here a couple of things and you have to think about the the whole uh, form the larger form in order to see the get to the point of for the details over here I'm gonna just get a little bit red over here because see it a little bit warmer okay like that that's pretty good a little bit brighter warmer right here so I'm gonna have that little bit tiny tiny yellow color into the red 
or just put the fresh orange color. If you want to be look very fresh, the best way is to put the yellow color uh, or the red directly onto the paper. Okay, and we make it very bright. This is good. Like that. A little bit good. Pretty nice. And I'm gonna look at the out the down over here, the bottom. I'm gonna see a little detail. I'm gonna soften that a little bit over here. And see a little detail right over there. And we can just put a little bit tiny, tiny darker color. So we get a little bit blue and the red color right over here. See that this color very, very dark. You can see it very, very, very dark. Now you put a little dark color right in here. And then it's going to create very beautiful suggestions. So I'm going to have that over here. That's good. Like that. A little gap. And this is good. Right over here. This is good. Coming here. Like that. And you want to have this darker. And then you'll be able to tell the separation between them. So early, earlier, we just put the whole dark color over there first. I see that? This is pretty good. Now what I'm going to do in the bottom over here, I'm going to put that even a little bit darker. Just get a little bit more red with the blue color. Now I'm going to just put it right over here. So see that this also a little bit darker. So put that little bit dark color over here to make that as create the better convincing details. Good. And over here too, I'm going to have this a little bit more red. Just a little bit more red. You see that? This whole group over here. And coming down like this. That's good. So, if you know someone also like the pink shell, send them this video, okay? So, hopefully, we're going to all like to paint the, the uncommon things. Okay, now at the bottom over here, this is getting good. At the bottom over here, you see a little bit more red. I'm going to put uh, just a little bit tiny, tiny red in the bottom over here. A little bit warmer, like that. And if you squint your eye, and you can see the relation. You know, open the eye, you can see more color. Okay, this is good. Like that. Pretty good. In here. And soon, we're going to start painting into here. But we're going to take care of the shadow here first. You see that a little bit warmer, a little bit red, right under this antenna. Like, see that? That's a little bit more red. Uh, this is why I only use the th mainly the three primary colors. So force you to think says either is this red or yellow or blue. And I'm going to have this side add a little bit more, a little bit blue, get a little bit cooler. Like that. This is good. Now, because this is already dry, so I can paint it around, okay, get the eye correctly. And see, but when you see the details, you have to analyze, okay, have to analyze the light and dark. You see the whole, yeah, the whole shape is not the detail first. You have to see the whole form. The value create the suggestions of the form. And over here have a little bit green. You see that, you see the little yellow and the blue. And the, actually the, the, the whole body of this is very translucent, very fresh. It's very beautiful, okay, like this. There you go. I'm going to have a little bit more. Like that, have a little bit tiny blue over there. And I'm going to take a little bit blue over here, a little bit tiny, tiny blue. You see that the tiny blue color over here. And you can be sensitive of the color and sensitive of the detail, but sensitive of the form before the details. And this is good, like that. And see that this is the dark color coming down. And in a moment, I'm going to come back over here to create the suggestions of catch the shadow, so we create uh, the final piece of the volume, okay, with the catch the shadow. I'm going to light up a little bit over here. That's good. Now I'm going to come to the back over here, have a little bit tiny purple color, and a little bit more red. Come on, coming over here. That's good. That's good. Like that. Let's see a little bit tiny, tiny more. That's good. That's catch the shadow. Yeah. This is great. And the edge over here on the inside, it can a little bit deserve a little bit darker color. I'm going to have a little bit more red mixed with the blue. 
and the dark color just the red and the blue okay there's nothing else and the yellow will make the color look a lot lighter so we don't want the yellow yeah, that's good and I feel like value can help you make your shadow if you look at it carefully the colors can help you make your caster shadow yep that's right all about the form the tricky part we cannot add to replicate the object we create suggestions and make the people think have the illusion that oh that's the shell this is something this is not the shell that's the paper that's the that's the pigment that's the color, color. and it is we doing the magic to create that illusion okay now we're going to do the um, antenna okay we're going to have a little bit more uh, it's a very tiny tiny blue color on the side over here you see that that's a very translucent i'm going to have that coming down like this and have a little bit more over here this is a little bit at the bottom over here a little bit more blue that's here we go and make that a little bit tiny tiny lighter this is good and then have a little bit more yellow color can you see the bottom has a little bit yellow color right here a little yellow that create the illusion that a little bit yellow color at the bottom and a little bit yellow very translucent it's so very good that like that this is good and the antenna and then we're going to create a cat shadow the cat shadow first we're going to do the uh the bottom side so we're going to take this color first and have the little bit lighter like that at the bottom side okay here you go i'm going to leave that a little bit gap a little bit light gap okay here you go that's pretty good like this and come a little bit less and that's good i can see a little bit more purple color that's pretty nice i'm going to have a little bit water just the water soften that on the here so the color coming up a little bit so this is all suggestions and like a create kind of like a magicians make you believe something happened actually it should not really happen okay we painting a baby we're not making a baby right so we just make something the shape the color make it believe is look like a baby okay okay here we go now we're gonna this is a little bit still a little wet so it's okay we just put a little dark color on the edge we come back to do a little bit more up there uh, darker under the reflection okay as in the cast shadow okay down over here you see that coming to like this we're also going to put some little bit dark color over here underneath okay this is pretty good it almost look like it I'm going to have a little bit more red and you see this a little bit darker and I have this a little bit darker like that that's good okay we we'll come back to do this in a little bit but first thing first we need to add a little bit more and texture and you can make it make you feel really good about it now we're going to have a little bit tiny tiny color right here you see that this a little thingy this eye also look 3 3D. So I make one side a little bit darker. It looks like a 3D. But at the tip, have a little bit red. And I have see that a little bit red over there. That's good. Like that for now. And what we're gonna do? We're gonna come in over here. Give a little bit texture. Now look at the color of the texture. And a little bit more like a purplish color. So I'm gonna have it a little bit more. The red mix into here the shadow color very consistent okay here you go get a little bit so this is will be a good color now here we go now I'm going to start from here see start from here and I know this is could be the step that you have been anticipating and looking for and you probably would do this right at the beginning already so and don't do that okay okay a little bit tiny yellow a little bit like that too I think that's too dark and this is not really so dark here we go now I'm gonna have that a little bit 
Just give a little bit suggestions. The line create the feeling like look at the scale, right? That's good. Okay, it's not really, really that much. Okay, look at it, and also the color could change from place to place. It's not exactly the same color, like that. And here you go. Look, observe, and find out what you need to do, like that. And look at the look at the scales on the fish, but not exactly. The same kind of matter. The, this is much softer. The scale is a lot harder, right? Okay, here we go. This is the skin. And over here, a little bit more red. And here we go. Red like that. This is the texture of the skin. And the texture of the skin. This is getting a little bit better. I'm going to take a look over here. Continue. And. Maybe it could be a little bit tiny, tiny, a little bit darker. Got a little bit more red coming down over here. Okay, be patient. And you almost get to it. You really like to get the detail out. Okay. I want to say scale. This is, could be the same kind of technique and same kind of patience when we're doing the fish. Ah, here we go. A little bit more. Look at it again. I'm gonna. I already know what it looked like. So I look at it from time to time, and just bring that. You see, there's something like I have a line over here, all the way from here, like that on the edge over here, go all the way coming here, like that. And there's a line all the way coming over here. And this is a little bit lighter, so I'm gonna leave this a little bit like that, like that, and a little bit like that, like that. That's good. And and the line, very much persistent. Okay, be patient. Okay, like this. Let's see. And over here, we're gonna be darker. So let's put this color in, and then we're going to uh, also going to do the overlay uh, uh, wash and a little bit more glazing. Okay, that's good. Like that. Yeah, that's good. A little line coming over here, and also we see a little bit light coming over there. Yes, here you go. A little bit soft line. Okay, and get a little bit more green, a little bit more blue. And here you go, the color change. Well, okay. snail fact, snails can actually sense light and dark. Really could. I'm gonna have that a little bit more green, which is a little bit more yellow and blue color. Okay, this is good. We're gonna come over here. We're seeing that, a little bit line, okay. Maybe too dark, so when I see if it's too dark, we come back to make a little bit softer, light up a little bit. Okay, here you go, like that. That's good. That's good. We're gonna get a little bit lighter on this side, we're gonna have a little bit more water, like that. A little bit more water on this side. Now you can see this look more and more more and more real, okay? Okay, here we go. Soften that a little bit, and make it a little bit lighter, because there's the light. And again, in the middle over here, we can see a little bit more tiny, tiny more blue. Okay, a little bit more blue color here. Like that. Okay, that's looks good. A little bit softer. Now, this is pretty good. I'm still gonna have a little bit, a little bit darker red. Okay, right over here, see that? That's a little bit more red. That's a little bit more red. Okay, a little bit. And yeah, the color, interesting. And the top over there, I'm gonna come back, use a little bit, just has a little blue color, have a little bit red color, like that, especially right over here. See the little bit blue? This couple, mark over this couple line, it's quite blue. Okay, have a little bit more. 
like that, and that's good. And that right here. And on the edge over here, I'm gonna keep a little bit tiny more. And just so that we know. And get a little bit yellow on this edge over here, the gap over here. A little bit more yellow. Like that. That's good. And pretty good. A little bit more yellow. Now coming back over here. You see that? I need a little bit darker. Okay, I'm gonna make this a little bit darker. You see that? That's a, a soft catch the shadow coming out. Okay, that's good. And I can also gradually and have a little bit more red and purple color. And here you go. And make the line also a little bit darker from here going out. That's good. Like that. That's pretty good on the edge. Now I'm gonna give a little bit more catch the shadow underneath. Uh, let's take a look. Get just the red and the plus and blue. Okay, just like a one we did for the lid. I'm gonna have that over here. Have a little bit darker. See that? That's is good. That is very close to the uh, uh, the surface, so it's give a little bit gap, a little gap over here, like that. And maybe on this side, have a little bit tiny more catch the shadow over here. Do you know what? This is a little bit tiny, tiny with that antenna, but the light is not that strong, so we can just leave it a little bit soft, like that. And here you go. The reference you may not see that clearly, but you can imagine how it will look like. That's good. A little bit softer. And the edge. Okay. This is good. And inside over there, also gonna get a little bit more red, even a little bit darker. Underneath. Like that. A little bit darker. Underneath. That's good. Okay, and I'm gonna use this flat brush, doing that even better for us. Seeing that, let's make it even softer. Okay, okay, a little bit softer. Yeah, and this is good. Come on. Okay, now coming back to the, now the color is pretty good. And just think about this, can add just a little bit tiny, tiny blue. Okay, a little bit tiny, tiny blue, right here, like that. Okay, let me see how much patience you have. Right, and get a little bit orange color, a little bit fresh, get the yellow. Get a little bit red, a little bit orange. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna have this. A little bit more. Uh, here we go. Get that, that's pretty good. Let's up that a little bit. And I can also have that very tiny, tiny little yellow orange color into here. Okay, that's even into the light, still seeing something. Okay, like that. And on the other side, could be coming a little bit, that's a few lines. Like that. Okay, that's good, a little bit translucent. And I'm gonna have a little bit tiny, a little bit dark over here. Looks like there's some wet over here because this looks very distinguished. So a little bit, a little wet. And you're gonna see in the water drop over there, but we're not gonna do the water drop for this. Okay, it's good. Like that, I'm gonna have this a little bit lighter on the edge. Like that, 
coming over. Okay, pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna have a little bit tiny more red. I'm just gonna paint the red right here. It's not really so so uh, dry, and there's a very smooth. Okay, here we go. Like that. Let's draw the line. Let's get a little bit darker over here. A little bit darker right on the edge over here. Let's get. All right, that's pretty good. Down over here. Down over here. And this is pretty good. I think this is pretty good painting of this nail. So I hope you're going to have fun painting with me. If you also like oil painting, you can see how I paint this in another YouTube channel. The link in the description. I will see you in my next video.